Brothers Big Sisters is unique for a number of different reasons. Um, first of all, we are all about one-to-one -one mentoring. So this is different from other organizations that might have a group mentoring focus or peace within their model. But Big Brothers Big Sisters is about taking one caring adult and matching them with one child facing adversity in our community to really make a difference in their life. So being a friend, being a role model, providing them support that's going to encourage positive relationships, positive academic development, and just exposing them to some of what life's opportunities can be that may not be in their immediate environment. Um, another piece that makes Big Brothers Big Sisters unique is really the research-based component. So we're really fortunate to be a part of a national organization that means that this isn't just something that we, we think works, it's something we know works. So the research is there in um, the background and the history. Big Brothers Big Sisters has been around for um, over 100 years, making a difference in children's lives by matching mentors and, and kids, and then measuring that success. So knowing that these relationships help them to have higher self-confidence, to look at risky behaviors and shy away from those, to really have improved relationships with their friends and their family, and really just help them look at what the future could be and see some new things. And Greg, I know, I mean, you've served as a big brother and hopefully you've seen some of that in the relationship that you've built over the last few years. I've had a lot of fun and, and my component as a big brother is through the school system. Uh, so I'm going into the school for an hour a week, uh, hanging out with my kid at lunch and recess right now is what I'm doing. Uh, my little I had before this one, we took lunch back to the room, we played games, a lot of uh, quiet time, just me and him, he was a very quiet kid. Um, my little now, he likes to show me off in front of all of his friends, so we're playing basketball together, um, we're interacting at the lunch table, um, but there's a lot of opportunity, to, the, the thing that you're talking about, the one word you left out, which you danced all around, uh, was hope. And, and that's the component I see with my kid. When I show up, he brightens, he lightens up, he's excited. Um, and it, hope might be a strong word for it, but it, it, it gives him something to look forward to. Uh, like I said, he shows me off, um, you know, he shares me with everybody else, but also he pulls me back. And so it gets to make him special. And a couple of weeks ago, we spent recess and lunch doing his homework that he hadn't done. So he also gets to that end of it, that it's not all fun and games, that I'm not there just to play, that, that we're going to take care of homework, we're going to take care of academics. Um, so we sat out all recess and, and worked on homework, which wasn't a lot of fun for him, but he got it done, he focused, um, and we got it completed. So there's that component as well. So I'm in the school system an hour a week, hour and a half a week. Uh, because I find that's easier to get away than taking away in the evenings because I've got my own kids and they're running different places and we're real busy in the evenings. Uh, so there's all different ways of getting involved as a big brother or big sister. It's not just an hour and a half at the park every weekend or whatever. That's right, there's, Greg. So there's, so there's two programs through which most of our services are delivered. So either going to school to meet with a child once a week for that hour a week or picking them up from their home to do things in the community once a week. And both of those programs you know, make a tremendous difference. A lot of people kind of wonder, what can one hour a week do? But as you said, you're bringing hope, you're, show, you're really setting an example that, that school matters, that having fun matters, that all of these things are a component to being healthy and to having you know, lifelong kind of success, but really caring about different aspects of his life and that you get to have those relationships with him. And one piece I really didn't talk about is no matter which program you're in, you have the professional support of a staff member from Big Brothers Big Sisters through that whole relationship. And I know you've, you know, you've felt that, you've had a match support specialist that's been assigned to you, but really that that person is just there to consistently provide support and that they're also doing that to the children and parents that we work with. That they're there making contacts weekly, monthly, and really being a resource to help work through these relationships. All of our staff are degreed in the human service field, so it's really professional support from a staff member that's going to be there to support that relationship and make sure it has every opportunity to succeed and that communication and safety and all of the pieces that help that relationship be successful and children be successful is there. So... Big brothers, big sisters, obviously important, involved with the kids. How is the community involved besides being a big brother or big sister? How can folks get involved 
and how do folks get involved with y'all? Well, there's lots of ways that local businesses and individuals get involved outside of giving that one hour a week to become a big brother or big sister. The largest way is our Bull for Kids Sake event. So that happens um, each year. In 2018, it'll be March 3rd, but it really is a way for everybody to come together as a community. Individuals raise money, sponsor, businesses sponsor the event, um, and come together at Valley Lanes for a whole day of bowling and fun that really makes a different for, difference for local kids. So we live in a very generous community. We have over 50 businesses that provide their support each year, including Green Valley Auctions and Moving and Green Valley Book Fair. And we're so thankful for those relationships. Um, but without the gener generosity of our community, we wouldn't be here. We are an entirely volunteer and donor-supported organization. So the volunteers and the funds and the support of the community are what make that difference. And we're so, we're so glad that the community comes together to support children and support the future of our community through those youth. So how are you getting the word out there to the community about what you do? How do you get everybody excited about this? I mean, obviously, if you're a big brother or big sister, you've got the one-on-one, -on -one, you've got that experience. But how are you getting the word out to the rest of the community that this matters, what we're doing matters. It's the one-hour weekend. It makes a difference. Um, how do you get people to buy into this one-on-one -on -one mentoring with a kid is going to make a difference in a life? Why should we give money to support that? So stories like yours that you just shared are a lot of the way that that happens. So we know that the bigs that we currently have, over 600 every year, are out there sharing the story in the community. And that testimony and sharing with their friends and their networks and their employers really makes a difference in helping people understand the relationships and that are made possible through that support. We're also really fortunate to have an amazing partnership with Harrisonburg Radio Group with WHSV, with, with Comcast, with a lot of local media outlets that are very generous with their time, resources, their staffing to help get the word out. So Big Brothers Big Sisters couldn't be who we are. Bowl for Kids Day couldn't be the success it is every year without those relationships and others wanting to help share that message and bring in the volunteers and the resources necessary to continue that work in the community. There are hundreds of children waiting for mentors. So all of those resources and the community understanding the need that is there is really important and it's amazing to see that come together every year to be able to make the difference for local children. That's pretty cool.